Look at this, forget The Last of Us, forget Mad Max. I got my own post-apocalyptic adventure with Shell Fuel's V-Power cleaner engines and an exploration Two, of this maze. One, fire. So did I survive? Well, let's find out. Now, it all started off relatively sedate as I headed to my car. Got my co-pilot there ready to open the door. These beautiful BMW series vehicles gonna take them through their paces. And at this stage, we didn't know what was in store. Uh, headed to the start of the maze at the track. And this Three, is the same track they used two, for the Top Gear filming. One, As you can see, the goes. countdown goes and I'm off, um, working my way through the maze. I take a right to begin with, swing it around, and <laughs> straight away, cars on fire, ramps, it really was a completely immersive Last of Us apocalyptic style experience. Now my first challenge was to get over this balance beam. Tricky lining up, um, but the BMW had these the cameras in it that could show you exactly where you were. So as you can see, I edged my way over, didn't lose any points on this section, and then away and around the corner. There's some more tight cornering here avoiding the barrels and you had to you had to avoid these there are penalty points for clipping any of them my wife will be laughing at me doing this but she, she always says i drive much too close to the road i really so i head around the next part of the maze but wasn't expecting what <laughs> confronted <laughs> me here look at this what is going on oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> what's he gonna do he's gonna keep coming <laughs> Now for a moment I thought perhaps I needed to get round him. I was informed that wasn't quite the thing to do, so made a swift three-point turn and headed on to the next section. A little bit of a chance to get a breather. We, we collect my thoughts and my skills and then through the water, obviously windows up. I think I'm reaching for the windscreen wipers, but as I do, look at this. There's a massive, another second monster truck comes hammering on my left over these cars. Absolutely crazy. I've never seen anything quite as big or as aggressive as this on the road. And it was quite intimidating. But no time to dwell on that because I had my last and final challenge, which is to get over these cross beams without hitting the roof. And I think I just hit it, so that's penalty points for me. And there you go, right through the finish and out into the freedom of away from the metal and the fire and the water and the monster trucks. So all that was left to do is to see how I did compared to the other drivers and YouTubers on the event today. You can see here we're gathering for the results. Comparing notes, talking a bit about the mechanics of the engines and that Shell V-Power fuel that keeps them clean. And the results came in. I didn't do too badly in terms of penalties, but I wasn't so quick. So there you go, that's my behind the scenes look at the event day for Shell V-Power. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time. Really appreciate being included in that event by Shell and I'd love to do I'd love to do that again. Perhaps I'll go and do a track day. But for now, that's all we've got time for on Family Gamer TV.